hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so here we are with the memory based aptitude questions from the gate 2023 exam so uh, the motive of this particular video will be more to talk about the answers which i believe are correct i'll not be going into the calculations and the solutions of it because uh, that we will do once the question paper will be like that will be published by gate right so we'll be having exact numbers exact values then that will be a better way to discuss but i'll just talk about the questions in short we will just have a short discussion about the questions in this particular video right so 10 questions were there from aptitude we are going to discuss all of them so let's start with it okay so the first question is from the grammar part and uh, there it basically based upon uh, the meanings you have to write down so parliament was given for legislature so what the quote is so the answer according to me should be judiciary so I guess this was very easy and many of you might have answered because other options were very difficult uh, like very different they were not even close to judiciary so court works for judiciary so that seems to be the correct answer for that okay now this is the question where it says how many rectangles are there in the figure now if you look upon the figure this was the figure I guess that was given in the question paper and if you see there were only four rectangles to be to be precise but one thing which you have to keep uh, in mind is that squares are also rectangle okay so a square is a special type of a special type of rectangle and that's what they have basically played with so you have to count squares as well so if you count the square there is a bigger square and then you have this bigger square so two square then individually if you count them so this is square number three square number four five and six so six squares and then you have to count rectangle so this two square will make the seventh rectangle this is going to be the eighth one this is going to be the ninth one and this is going to be the tenth one so total it should be 10 so 10 rectangles should be the answer for this particular figure others are not forming any rectangle so that's why this 10 should be the correct answer for this okay now this was a very good question where it was asked that a paper of dimension 100 into 32 is folded such that longer sides meet each other and after five such folds the final dimension becomes 100 into 1 centimeter so how many crease will be observed on opening the paper something like that the question was wordings might be different but i am just telling you that what exactly the question was asking about right so what they are asking is basically you have a paper which is in the rectangular form so this side is 32 centimeters long and this side is 100 centimeters long so you are folding it in such a way that these longer sides are meeting that means you are folding by this particular side meeting with this particular side all right so once you fold it what you are going to get is you are going to get a particular strip which will become uh, like the width is going to decrease and it is going to actually become half of it so from 32 it will become 16 this will remain 100 because you are folding and you are not change, like you are not folding from the 100 side you are folding from the side which is 32 so it became th 16 again the second fold it is going to become 8 right this is this is going to remain 100 this is going to become 8 again if you do that this is going to become 4 right so this will become 4 this will remain 100 again so we have folded 1 2 and 3 times fourth time when you fold it so this is going to become 2 and this is going to remain 100 and on the fifth time so this is first fold this is second fold this is third fold this is fourth fold and this is fifth fold so on the fifth fold you are going to get the final dimension which is 100 is to 1 which they have given in the question now they were asking about how many crease you are going to get so there are various ways if you like many people try to do it by folding their uh, their uh, admit card itself but fine that is that also works if you have counted it properly but let me tell you how to do that so once you fold this like the first fold in that case you will just get one crease okay but on first fold you will get one crease crease means one like line will come here, here like this okay so i'll just make the paper here let's say on opening the paper this is how the paper was let's say this was 32 this was 100 on the first fold this crease is going to come at the center right now your paper is two folds here and once you make the second fold 
you are now going to add two more creases so those two crease will come here try to try to fold a paper and check it out you will see your by your own okay and so on once you make the third fold you will see that there are four new four uh, new creases which are going to come four new creases on the fourth fold you will see that eight new creases are going to come and on the fifth fold you will see that 16 new creases are going to come so basically what this whole thing can be summarized in the mathematics form is that for first fold the number of crease which you are getting is 2 to the power 0 for second fold the number of crease which you are getting is 2 to the power 1 for third fold the number of crease which you are getting is 3 to the power 2 for fourth fold you are getting 3 to the power 3 and for the fifth fold uh, sorry uh, should not be 3 it should be 2 to the power only okay so 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 for the fourth fold for fifth fold you will get 2 to the power 4 you have to just add all of them to get the total crease so this is 1 this is 2 this is 4 this is 8 and this is uh, 16 so if you add all of them you will get 31 so 31 crease is the correct answer when what you what you should get for this particular question 31 is the answer for this all right fine i hope you understood let's go to the next question okay now this was again a question from uh, english based grammar based question it says that i cannot approve this proposal something like that the sentence i don't remember exactly but i'm just telling you that this was something close to it that i cannot approve this proposal that my dash does not allow me so the correct answer for this should be consigns okay consigns is basically the ability of moral judgment if you see the uh, proper uh, like definition of it or proper meaning of it so that suits best over here there were other words also consent and all the other words but i think consigns suits best over here because the moral judgment is coming over here in the sentence so yeah this should be the correct answer for this right so let's talk about this question now it says which function correctly represent the given curve there were different functions given in the option although in the question paper the values are not given i have plotted it you know, like using a web tool but basically this particular uh, function the correct answer i'll directly tell you the answer for this will be uh, fx is equals to x square and uh, e uh, 2 to the power minus mod x so basically it is a function made up of two functions that is x square and e to the power uh, 2 to the power minus mod x x square will, will make sure that the function is having all the values positive and 2 to the power minus mod x will make sure that you get all the values like a, as a mirror form okay so that's that's the correct answer for this if you have marked this this is the correct answer for this particular question let's take the next one now. okay this was a question where it said that the smallest number containing distinct digit that sums up to 45 so two things were important over here distinct digits means the digits digits should be different and second thing is that their sum should come of 45 now if you see options all of the options if you add them it was giving us 45 but option c and d should not be the correct one because they don't have distinct digit option c there were three digits which were repeated option d all the digits were repeated so there were only two options where all the digits were distinct and now they were asking about the smallest number so if you see here uh, like up till uh, like up till here oh, both these are same but here now it is 7 and here it is 6 so 6 uh, is like basically 1 tens 100 thousand so we are at the thousand position we have 6789 and this is 7698 so of course this will be the smallest number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 is should be the smallest number containing distinct digit that sums up to 45 this was pretty easy right let's see the next one okay now this was a very very good question okay i don't remember the question completely whatever i remember i have just written it, it up over here i hope that makes sense so it says that a, a city consists of 1000 people such that 100 of them were covid positive and due to the lack of testing kits the official came up with a method which includes so and so so many things were there but three points were there which i have written up the first point was that the sample will be grouped in the set of five a random sample from each set will be tested and if it is found negative then the complete set is considered as negative and if the sample is found positive then each sample of the set will be se tested separately they were asking the minimum number of kits required 
to properly identify 100 covid positive patient is so the answer should be 600 according to me that should be the answer how to solve this uh, once the question paper comes like once we get the question paper properly the all the other points which i am missing out over here uh, once i get that i will make a detailed video on this on the solution of this because this was a very good question a very tricky question right i believe the answer should be 600 uh, you can comment down if you have some other options or some other um, like explanation of it but i think it should be 600 and i i'll explain that once the question paper will be uploaded okay the next question was based upon this that total there were 100 students or people something like that it was and out of them 30 used to watch romantic movies uh, neither no romantic movies nor comedy movies 20 of them watch both romantic and comedy movies and it was said that if the number of people that watch romantic movies is twice that of number of people who watch comedy movies so how many of them watch romantic movies so basically this can be done with the help of Venn diagram so i'll simply make a Venn diagram quickly so let's say i have these two circles this circle is representing the uh, people who are watching romantic movies and this is the one which is representing people who are watching comedy movies so it said that 30 people are the one who are neither watching romantic nor comedy movies so they are these right outside of this circle so those who are neither watching romantic movies nor comedy movies these are these are 30 people okay fine the next thing is 20 watch both romantic and comedy movies that means this at the center these are the ones who are watching 20 are the ones who are watching both comedy movies and uh, romantic movies both and it was said if the number of people that like romantic movies is twice that of number of people who like comedy movies so let's say that the number of people who like comedy movies is x so the number of people who like romantic movies is 2x right now we have to make the whole equation so basically number of people who watch romantic movies plus number of people who watch comedy movies plus uh, so if i am adding these two i am basically adding this central region twice right i am adding that in the case of romantic movies also and in the case of comedy movies also in both the cases i am adding this particular section twice so i have to subtract this section once because here i have added it twice so i'm going to subtract that minus this section is called as the intersection section that means r intersection c okay and this thing and plus the whole the outer area the outer area that means this that is the one who are neither watching any one of them okay so I, i'll just write down outer area this should be equal to total people okay that's what it is so we have added this plus this we have subtracted this region because this was added twice once we added for the r then also we have taken this region once we added for c then also we have taken this region because we have added twice so we have to subtract it once to make it sure that it is just added once then we have added this outer section and this whole should be equal to the total number of people so if you write down the values now so number of r is 2x number of c is x and minus this intersection is 20 and plus outer area is 30 and total were 100 if you solve this so you will get 3x like plus 10 is equals to 100 so you will get 3x is equals to 90 or x is equals to 30. So x is 30 that means 30 people watch comedy movies. So those who are watching romantic movies which was asked in the question that should be equal to 2x which is equals to 2 into 30 and the answer should be 60. So 60 is the correct answer for this particular question. I hope you understood it was a simple question just based upon how you are looking upon it okay last few questions so this one was based upon slogs slogs whatever you call it basically it was given some creatures are animals they are ferocious then some animals with claws are ferocious something like that it was so there was i'm just writing the answer over here the answer for that must be that some creatures with claws are ferocious okay that should be the answer for this question the rest of the options i don't remember proper question i don't remember so let the question paper come uh, or let the, let gate upload the question paper and then we will discuss about it but for now i believe this should be the correct answer for that and there was again one more question based upon a, a paragraph which was given and it was asked that what you can infer from that paragraph so i'm just writing the answer of that again it was basically adult person 
and he was thinking about his childhood memory because he was talking about his childhood memories that what he used to think during his childhood so this should be the correct answer for this so these were 10 questions which were memory based questions from the aptitude section i believe we have uh, like we have discussed all of them and if you have any doubt or if you have any other uh, opinion about a particular question or any other explanation about it you can comment down in the comment section below that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one until then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much